Hello, and today we're going to take a look at this map, Po River. So we're going to basically go over the light tank tactics, and also uh, I just wanted to to emphasize on the the sort of guide that I want to impose on my channel about light tanks. Since light tanks are the most difficult uh, class to play, I would like to show you uh, some of the things I do to make sure I do well in my light tanks. Now I'm not the best light tanks in a, uh, driver, in fact I'm not even that good of a light tank driver, uh, but I do often still get some good games as we are going to see. Um, so recently I've been showing you a lot of RU251 gameplays, that's because I'm trying to do my light tank mission for the T55A, and um, I think it's, it's a good idea now to show you some RU251, and of course the the way you should play your light tank to beat up your opponent. So again, use your light tank's advantage. For me, this is uh, just that the RU has really awesome uh, side de gun depression. The front gun depression is is not awful, but it's not that good as you can see. You really need the tank to go on its, its side to be able to uh, aim the gun down. So I'm firing heat ammo because well, not like I really, really have to, but again, <laughs> I, I need to do my mission, and I cannot afford to bounce on that T30 player there. Uh, do take an extra hit there, which isn't the best of choices, to be honest. And I could get smashed by RT, but as you can see, I am effectively pu um, pushing back a T30 and Lorraine in a light tank. Yes, in a light tank. And you can do that by simply being quite aggressive, but you don't become too aggressive, which you you can just get easily killed off. You want to be kind of aggressive in that you can still get back into cover. Now you can see I am so pissed out of this team. Um, I had shit teams the whole entire day, and uh, it doesn't help by the fact that you know we have a pretty botty platoon too. Who is just AFK in the top tier tanks at base? Well, not strictly AFK in, but as you can see, they aren't actually doing much anyway. Uh, in fact, the Yank Tiger, I have no idea. You know, just why, why would you camp there? There, just push forward. There's better locations, especially the Waffen Trigger, to be honest. Uh, the Yank Tiger, I know he's firing the e e E75, but you can say uh, my move is really really extreme but I wouldn't have done it normally that that was just an extreme scenario to be honest because I received absolutely no support whatsoever down my flank uh, which is where normally tanks do push around and when you do receive no support in a light tank and nobody even bothers you know trying to help me there if I was to die there then obviously this game could have ended quite differently and I just think that you know being a light tank driver you gotta put responsibility on your own hands sometimes to decide where you want to go as you know there's plenty of light tank drivers who just suicide straight away but I think you gotta be responsible to your team and you know not be like the Yak Tiger for example who just really camp so hard and he doesn't even end up doing much damage to be honest in the end of this and you can see I am going into an ultra defensive position. Why? Because I, there's absolutely no way I, I think we can uh, actually win this if I was to to stay and fight the T30 or to circle him. I would just simply get killed. So what happened is I'm using the fact that the Yank Tiger is camping on the top of there, and uh, hopefully let our RT actually remember themselves that you know they are actually the ones going to die. So therefore I'm here to to just provide the spotting they need to be able to let's say uh, do what they have to to defend themselves so you know otherwise they wouldn't be uh, they wouldn't give a shit if I was to die there you know so I, those so those sort of players you gotta make sure that they are they feel that they are threatened so therefore I retreat all the way back to base use this bushes and now you can see the RTs are really careful now they know that they're gonna die so therefore they need to shoot everything that comes uh, comes around here and what basically I spot they need to shoot and that that way we have a, at least a fighting chance and you can see the Lorraine player really outplayed me several times I have to say uh, he, sh he now just shaved my health all the way to 100 health points 
and now even a little artillery smash could could end my life easily so therefore now I'm thinking well where is the T30 now I don't want to exactly go poking out in some other location but since it's a free shot in the Lorraine we take it 235 not that brilliant of a roll I have to say but it's, it's okay I'll take it than anything else at least it didn't bounce on the Lorraine otherwise that would be embarrassing so looking for the shot but Oh, the rain doesn't move anymore. And now it's time to spot the T30. And I believe this is just brilliant. I spot him. Saw he fired. Got all the time in the world. Can't one shot into him. Again, I'm saving my gold round. Not yet. At least, at least not, not yet. Remember, I have 190 penetration, and as you can see here, I'm using the fact that the ring has awful aim time on his uh, 30 damage. Per shot, 100 millimeter gun. I am uh, jogging the terrain, so he doesn't really quite get a shot on me. The enemy artillery should have blind shot in my spot, to be honest. But again, they don't want to fire and lose the op opportunity. Now the, the score is slightly back. I have to say that the weapon trigger is. Well, I think personally, he could have done a lot more. However, at least he wasn't AFK. Well. well at least he did more than the Yak Tiger, I hope. Um, in my opinion, a Yak Tiger, which is so strong, should never, at least in the start of the game, camp there. Because, you know, he, he was actually quite lucky in the fact that the E-75 was there. Um, just just that he can do some damage, but otherwise, I'm pretty sure camping at that location, he wouldn't be as, u as useful as he should have been. So, uh, you can see I'm spotting this guy, but my gun depression on the front is awful. Spot him, he blind fires the bush, thinking that I'm still there. But of course, in your light tank, you gotta develop the skill that you know you do not want to stay in the bush. They they have six sense, they know that you just spotted them, they will fire at the last zone location. I, I've done that plenty of times to kill uh, you know, TDs or light tanks camping behind the bush. So please, you know, just spot them back up again, and then then maybe you can think about taking your shots after they did their blind shot or didn't do their blind shots but that way is safer than you know if I was to stay behind the bush so as you can see two RTs and there's two enemy medium tanks I'm on 100 health point for the last five minutes not the best of idea but I'm loading high explosive so I wanna just to tell you you gotta maximize the advantages you have and now the thing is RU2 of one has uh, a very interesting HE round which pretty much all of you know now it's got 102 penetration that is not bad in fact and now there's the STA1 and a Lorraine and yeah I can easily kill them I suppose with my HE and there goes the execution and now I lose a bit of health going down the hill luckily I survived without taking further more damage now the Lorraine must be around here and Lorraine has paper armor and also he's got such little amount of health but he does execute our M50 M53 M55 uh, and oh I don't quite get the snapshot and watch the chat watch the chat okay watch the chat so what you're seeing me here doing is that why would I want to attack the Lorraine when I can get a jump on him? You know, this would be absolutely retarded if I was to drive down here on the slope. He would spot me, I would spot him. Uh, at that time, it's quite undecided whether if I was to pull out the trigger first or he could. So, what I'm doing here is I'm waiting for him. I'm in the bush, I'm not spotted. I don't need to move. And if I'm behind a bush, that means I will spot him before he spots me. At least that's th that's the idea. That I will spot him before he spots me. And look, charioteer, retard, coward, are you two five one? Uh, blah blah blah. You know, I just okay. What is he talking about? Thirty one k games and you know less than one k stats. Uh, I don't know. At least I think he thinks I'm camping because you know. I, but I think, in my perspective, the the camp was good. I didn't think that the Lorraine was going to go all the way around. I thought he's going to climb up here, which will, I will actually get the ambush shot on him, uh, which is a safer way to play your game. Um, I held my patience there, and it turned out that the Lorraine went for the GW, but I saved the GW. Uh, <laughs> you can see me say to him, learn to play, uh, which I do think he does need to really learn, you know, playing 31k games and having such low stats and 
questioning about others uh, is a bit slapping himself in the face but nonetheless <laughs> I joke around here in chat so I, I tell the GW a good, good job and I just want to keep this spirit up you don't want to deter deteriorate your own team's spirit uh, you can say uh, that you know in this game I was being an asshole several times uh, but I feel like it's justified since that you know I, I do understand what between what is a good guy and what is a bad guy and I, I think that that guy is is a good guy he did the right thing he ha he didn't do something stupid then you know what you gotta you gotta give them their their point and their the the effort of doing something like that for example the GW guy he he didn't suicide or anything like that he did just what he had to do he ran in the right direction so I could get, catch the shot onto him. And I gotta thank him for that, otherwise it would be a bloody nightmare to kill that Lorraine, which who who actually outplayed me and had a really good game, to be honest. But we're going to try to outplay someone, and oh my lord. Ah oh shit, HE round doesn't plant into the back of the FV, and I'm not going to chase after him here. And this is very dangerous, in fact, I could easily be killed, and RT misses me, and I spot the... Crusader SP who which I nuke for 350 and that is why you load the HE because the HE does does enough damage to one shot an RT whereas this AP round does not guarantee anything uh, this only does 200 so therefore I would rather risk it with the HE uh, with 100 penetration that is very decent and as you can see now it's all about outplaying your opponent about this video basically I want to show you how you can outplay your opponent so now the FE probably thinks that I will get him from that direction which I was spotting him originally from but is that I go around the corner and you gotta be careful with every single corner you come around right here you gotta be careful third person not not first person and do we spot him? nope okay now, now we, we, we gotta be careful we gotta take. We gotta find him first. And oh, there, there he is. There he is. Oh my God! Quick turn, turn. Okay, he's fired. And uh, we got him. I would say safely. And uh, auto aimed and killed him. And now it's the S move. You gotta make your S move immediately after that. And any time now. Any time. Any time. And uh, do we do we see a shot? Yeah, there's a shot. But where does it came from? I originally saw that it was from the the this side of the map. The the western side of the map but again my instincts tell me that I should not cap for a number of reasons because previously I capped in my previous experience and it was all about experiences for example here I from my previous experience I knew that you know a few times I try to cap and the art artillery just rolls out the corner from up there and you wouldn't spot them to be honest they will see you if you camp around this region here so therefore I'm just gonna double check since I heard the splash damage from the tier 9 British tanks uh, tank, the RT I knew that it was gonna take him a long time before he reloads so I think I do have the chance and jump on him if I was to to just maybe give a little spot there I, d I just wanna make sure that doesn't happen to me but I still at this point I still thought that that guy's around this region here and anytime now we shall spot him and look how deep we gotta go into and holy crap he's here uh, there was a little lag on the screen I uh, don't know why I just played that guy too late oh guy misfired but as you can see here it's all about outplaying your opponent and being an arty the worst nightmare you can have is to shoot a guy who is just showing the tiniest amount of the tank and remember artillery aren't accurate at all especially our British artillery who lands the shot from above who specializes in uh, slightly longer ranged uh, engagement than close range and I just executed him there and if I was to miss that shot that could have been a draw because our GW def definitely wouldn't have reload in time to, to kill that FE so yeah by all means criticize the way I sh a team sh damaged that um, Yak Tiger and uh, you know the various accusations I got from my own team for being a camping but I think it's justified when I could carry the team you know it's all about winning it you know you can get called brave and all that by your own team but if you're not gonna win then they're not gonna thank you because by f by far I came top in XP in this game and I think um, this video really justifies how you want to play your games um, in my opinion it's all about the tactical mindset you want to put on yourself and also the sort of experiences you can see that I because I learned something from the past that I got RT'd from that position before 
Therefore, I'm not going to make the same mistake, and I'll check it out. And that's why I think a lot of you out out there are missing out on. And I hopefully you will actually improve your stats dramatically in your light tanks after watching this video. And I hope that um, with every single luck you you get, hopefully you can do your light tank missions. So far for me, I got the shit luck where I did six point uh, six point nine 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 five five k damage basically 6955 damage and I need to do 7k in a light tank I missed it by 55 health point in my RU251 you must be joking right uh, anyway good, good luck and we shall see you next time